Hey there, it's Ashley with Createful Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make really easy leaf art. If this is the first time we have met, be sure to subscribe so that you can have more fun art tutorials like this one. So let's get started. You're going to need canvases or canvas panels. Now if you don't want to put these in frames, then you'll want the canvases with the nice thick edges. But if you want to put them in frames, this is the easiest way to do so is getting canvas panels for the size of frames that you want. This is an 8x10 canvas panel and I have 8x10 frames for these to go in. Now you can do four of them for a look like this. okay? Or if you have a longer wall, you could do three of them like this. Or four of them if it's a really long wall and if you have a long wall that goes down you could do three stacking up this direction so it kind of depends on the area that you want this artwork to go for how many canvases you will need I'm going to use four of them you will want a wide brush a plate or a palette to put your paint on and the color of paint that you would like to paint your canvases um, you only need red, yellow, blue, white, and black depending on the colors you're trying to make. You're going to need spray paint. Metallic will really make it look great. I will show you this in one of the steps. You need to gather some leaves or grasses or flowers. And you're going to need a jar of water and a hair dryer is optional to speed up the process. Once you have all of these supplies, you're ready to get started. So the first step, we're going to take our canvases and we're going to paint them solid colors. So I'm just going to show you how to do one. So I'm going to look at the colors of my house and I'm going to decide what colors I want underneath this spray paint. So I'm going to take green, and I didn't show you how to do it with blue and yellow, but this is definitely the faster process <laughs> and I'm probably going to add a little bit of yellow Okay, and I'm going to mix this to see what color it creates and then I'll add other colors if I need to so I'm going for like a earthy green so I'm going to need some more white and I'm going to need some more yellow And I'm going to add a little bit of black, show you kind of how that works. Okay. See how it really makes it minty? The black goes far, doesn't it? So just kind of play around with the colors until you get the color that you want. And use stuff from around your house to match the color too. See how that makes it a little more earthy there? It looks like I just need to add a teeny bit more white and then I'm good to go. This really is one of my favorite colors. And it's going to look good in my house because I have things this color. Okay, and then you're just going to spread the paint onto your canvas. Just make sure that you go from side to side and that way you won't see so many brush strokes like this but you could do this for texture but it looks really nice to have just a smooth paint finish underneath this is really a fast project to do just keep going side to side rather quickly And then while you're finishing up this, you can think of the next colors that you want. I know that I really want um, like a maroon color. So this looks good. And I'm going to move on to the next canvas. And I'm just going to show you the finished, all of them finished at the end. These are the colors that I chose for my house. You can choose whatever colors you would like. If you need help mixing a certain color, leave me a comment below. While these dry, you can move on to the next step. So the next thing we're gonna do is head outside. I'm grabbing my clippers, but you can use scissors or whatever you want. So I'm gonna use these to find me some leaves. Lovely current bush leaves. These will look nice. 
Oh, good gracious, my mint is going crazy. We'll grab some of these because they have nice flowers on them. Maybe we'll use them, maybe we won't. We'll just see what it looks like. Grasses would also look nice. Ooh, I like the look of these. Dry flowers, the tops all pretty like that. All right, now that you have your leaves and your grasses, you're gonna wanna press them between something that's really heavy. And I have a couple of things that I could use, but I noticed that I have these stepping stones and I'm just gonna press these with my stepping stones. So I got my mint here and I'm just gonna place my stepping stone right on top of it just to smush it. Okay, and leave that for a little bit, probably like a minute or two, and then see if it's nicely pressed. You're gonna wanna do this with every single one of these. Otherwise, what will happen is you're just gonna have like a hazy look of this instead of having a nice outlined shape like a silhouette. Okay. So you're gonna wanna find a surface to lay out all your leaves and your flowers and things. And you're gonna wanna make sure that it's like cardboard or something crappy that you don't care about getting spray paint all over. So you wanna get your paintings and they should be dry. So I'm gonna place my leaves on here the way that I want them to show. I'm gonna place my grasses on here. If you see a random chicken walk across that, it's because I have chickens. And one of them just came over. Okay. Arrange them how you wish. Okay. Shake up your paint just before. You're gonna spray paint it. And you can do this all at once, you don't have to do one piece at a time. Which makes it very nice. Okay, you wanna be about 10 to 12 inches away and you don't want kids around and chickens. Go away, <laughs> go away. <laughs> they really like the leaves. Okay, and then you just spray evenly, paint it evenly back and forth until it covers everything. This isn't really showing a whole lot down there. So I'm gonna press this down. Make sure that doesn't move. Remember to get the edges really well. Just stay like on top if you can. Once you have a nice thick coat, you're just gonna lift off all of your grasses and stuff and kind of see what happened. I kind of never know exactly what it's going to turn out like, but it's kind of fun to see. So you'll notice that some of it's blurry. That's because it wasn't completely flat. So just take a little more time on that and you'll have the, the nice outline. But I actually like how it kind of makes it look like things are further and closer and stuff. And then let those dry. I decided to go with silver. It matched my house a little bit better. Um, but you can use gold or whatever metallic spray paint you want. And then you can go ahead and put them in frames by taking the glass out and then placing the panel inside. And it goes right inside. And that was the look I was going for. Here's my finished leaf art. I hope that you had fun. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these lessons. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye!